I just want to quickly show you how to use Enzima to add to the post that I that you've just read. Here is the picture of Enzima. I've already uploaded a file from my computer. And then down below are all the various options that you can apply to an image. You simply click on any of these to apply the options. So for example, if I want to change this image into a monochrome, I simply click on that and it will apply that particular effect. Most of these effects will have customized options that you can also set. Monochrome is not one of those, but let me select one that has some options to it. So for example, if we choose a border color option, I can set the border that I want. We'll go ahead and just do an all black one. Unfortunately, you need to know your hex values for colors here. You can set the width of it. You can also make it 3D if you'd like. Now, I'm using the image, since I didn't go back to my original image, I'm using the monochrome image that I just made. So I am applying a, a second effect to this original image. I'll click on Convert. And I'm not seeing the colored border. Let's see what, or maybe I made it all white. Mm -hmm. Try this again. Yeah, it's a very small border around them. I'm going to increase this. I might add a second border now, but that'll be alright just for example. There's the border around the image. Now, I'm going to quickly, since I've been playing with this for a while, I'm going to just um, hit these forward option here to go through the images that I've played with. So I started with this original image. Then I, then I applied different kinds of effects on here just to experiment and to show you what Enziba can do. So notice down here, anytime I click on this arrow, this is going to tell you the effect right here. So there's a monochrome effect. There's an overlay effect. A jigsaw image. Exploded effect. Textured pond, pond ripples. A 3D edge. Artistic frame, the border text. I believe I have another border text I made larger. Actually, I doubled it there. So you're going to see all the uh, <laughs> mistakes I made too as I go through this and showing you everything that I've done inside Enziba in the past half hour. So this is a, a blended image. I didn't really like that, so I did another one that actually shows the same image in the background, which is the sunset along with the shells here. I think if I was to do this over again, when I blend this image, I would not. I would set the transparency higher so I can see through this this second image more into the sunset. There's actually, I guess I did that. There's another example of that. Something to do with the colors. I don't remember exactly what that effect is. It's on top of a swirl. This is the outline effect. A vignette. I'm going to move on from the deform. Deform took a lot of resources. I'm not going to wait on that one. Here's the scrolled effect. It's one of those animations. I would speed up that scroll significantly if I was to actually use this. Here's the magazine. This is the uh, shift option, I think, under the color section. It says some pretty bizarre, crazy things. There's another shift option. This is adding a translucent layer to the image. There's the oil paint effect. The monochrome that I had just did right at the beginning of this video. And then we played with the border. And then we should be back to the original image. So as you experiment with these different effects, it actually keeps that image for you. And if you want to apply multiple effects, just don't change your image. So what I was doing to do it just to one, to, to the, one effect to an image Anytime after I applied, I'll go back to the main page here and choose an effect. Anytime after I applied an effect, so let's do, let's see, there's monochrome. And I want to keep that just as that. Then I would go back to my original image, 
which would be this in here. You can get to it either way of these arrows, then apply the second effect. So that's a quick demonstration of using Enziba.